Hi everybody, Poppy Linux World here, welcome to today's video. Well with the imminent expiration of Windows XP and the imminent launch of Ubuntu 14.04 long term release Linux operating system, I thought now was the perfect time to introduce you all to the perfect alternate gamers rig. So if you've had enough of Windows and want to ditch it, you want to get yourself a nice Linux gaming rig, get yourself a nice slice of the Ubuntu 14.04. Now you absolutely cannot go wrong with this operating system. So let's just have a quick look at it. What you're going to need? Well, Ubuntu 14.04. This is the beta 2 edition, so I heartily recommend you all wait until the full version is released in a couple of weeks. And as soon as it's released, this is your baby. Available in 32 and 64 bit. Absolutely everything available out of the box. You've got all your wine to run your Windows games with your play on Linux. So if you like me, a big World of Tanks player, you can install your World of Tanks no problem at all. And for all those of you who are big YouTubers, um, you can also install yourself a slice of the Open Shop. <coughs> Excuse me. OpenShot will allow you, of course, to compile and render all those gorgeous videos of you destroying the world with your tank. You can also use something like um, GDK Record My Desktop, you can use Voco Screen, you can use Simple Screen Recorder. Probably the best of the bunch is Simple Screen Recorder for all your gaming requirements. All these software packages are available and completely free of charge so just let me come out of that um, so simple screen recorder is very very simple and easy to install um, all you've got to do is a Google search how to install simple screen recorder um, simple screen recorder OMG Ubuntu beautiful just what you want just go to this page and you can then do a simple walkthrough of how to install it and there you go so 1204 and up so let's go ahead and actually do the install live so all we need to do first of all is copy that line of information open a terminal window up and left click paste put your system password in and it will then add that repository to your software repos for you. There we go. And then it's simply a case of pasting the second line in. There we go. Press enter. And it will say, do you really want me to install this? Even on Trusty to High, even though this is beta, all these packages are available for you. No problem at all and of course you'll be using the latest software, the latest kernels etc. Now I'm not going to do a full review of Ubuntu 14.04 in this video for you, that's not the point of this video, the point of this video is just to try and get, explain to the masses what is the perfect gaming rig. Now if you don't like the Ubuntu Unity interface, you prefer a more classic design then I would hardly recommend you look at something like Linux Lite. OK, so that's now installed. We can close all this down and all we've then got to do is open our launcher and type in SSR and there it is. Our simple screen recorder is installed and available for us. We can add it to the launcher, um, click on it, open it up. There we go. And this is probably the best little utility you will get because it will record your OpenGL windows, which is perfect. As I say, you then, then install OpenShop. OpenShop's available from the software center in 1404, and you can then install things like. Um, um, as I call it, Gook Viewer for recording images from your webcam with yourself. You've got the GIMP for all your graphic needs that you could ever possibly need. And then you can also install bits of software like Open Broadcaster. So if you want to live stream up onto YouTube, away you go. So for me, ladies and gentlemen, Ubuntu 14.04 is without a doubt one of the best options for you. Um, 
for doing yourself a nice little gamer rig as I say with its massive hardware compatibility it's got five years of support from when it's released so it's a nice long-term stable support and as I say if you don't like the Unity interface, you can have the Kubuntu version, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, whichever you want. Or you can go for an independent respin, something like Linux Lite. This, to me, is tantamount to the absolute perfect gamer's rig away and outside of Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac. Just before I end this video, I would sincerely love to hear what your suggestions for your perfect gamers rig is, and maybe you could post me some video shortcuts to your videos demonstrating what your perfect gamer rig is. For me, Ubuntu 14.04 is absolutely the tanker's world of tanks dream operating system. Thanks for watching everybody, please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up and I will see you for another wicked Poppy Linux World video. Um, today's video is on the next release of Ubuntu and this is Ubuntu 14.04 the trusty Taha build this of course is a daily build so it's far and away a pre pre-release build um, however just to prove that it is 14.04 as you can see 14.04 trusty Taha so what can you all expect in this book coming release of the latest version of Ubuntu. Well it's scheduled to be officially released in April of 2014 so perhaps you're all expecting a new version of Unity. Perhaps you're all expecting a new display manager. Perhaps you're all expecting some absolutely bleeding edge features that was going to blow the competition away. If any of you are expecting any of those things mightily disappointed you will be. The reason for that is twofold. Number one, between the release of 12.04 and 14.04 the Unity interface is absolutely blasted along in the development process with the web integration. We've all mocked it, we've all had a go at it, moaned about the privacy issues but nevertheless you can't get away from the fact that between 12.04 and 14.04 the Unity interface really really is becoming almost an industry standard to the shock of other major software manufacturers in the industry. I know for a fact that Microsoft are squirming at the fact that Unity has quickly gone from something that's been very very much hated to actually people are now sitting up saying well actually it's quite polished yeah they've got web integration mm, it's not quite right I've got privacy issues but sooner or later a version of unity is going to come out that is going to be absolutely bang on and when it does you can believe me there's an awful lot of software companies out there going to sit up and take notice that's the first reason the second reason is that with this release of Ubuntu in April, Canonical are firmly focused on two key areas. Area number one is the desktop should not be bleeding edge, but should be stable. Stability is the key for Canonical for the desktops. However, the second part to that story is that Canonical are so heavily focused on conversion that the desktop is almost unimportant. Their main areas of focus are the tablet and mobile. Reason for that is Canonical know that both Microsoft, Apple and Google are striving for operating system conversions and harmony. For the prize 
the company that manages that. It's mind blowing. To have a single platform across all devices is the holy grail. It's the chalice that all the companies are focused on. And that includes Microsoft, it includes Apple, it includes Google with their Android system. <coughs> you know, if you can sit on a desktop, a mobile phone, a tablet, and the experience is exactly the same, that is the holy grail. That's the holy grail that Microsoft achieved with releases such as Windows 98 and Windows 2000 on the desktop. Windows 2000 was the first ever conversions of a home operating system and a business operating system and it culminated in the fantastic release of Microsoft Windows XP which I genuinely believe was an absolute milestone platform release. The reason I believe that not only was Microsoft Windows XP a fine home desktop operating system it was also a fine business operating system it wasn't a bad server but more importantly than that, it spread. It spread to EPOS systems. It spread to banking systems. It's, it ran ATMs. It ran everything. So when you talk about Microsoft Windows XP, don't just limit it to the desktop because the potential is far beyond what any company can release for a desktop. If you truly want to make an operating system great, you have to be appealing on all platforms. And that is what Canonical are focusing on. So the release of 1404 on the desktop, <coughs> of course it is designed to have five years of stable support, bug fixes and updates and I genuinely believe that this will be their rock release which allows them to focus on the mobile platforms and not so much on the desktop platforms. All this talk of Mir and you know getting rid of Xorg server and Unity 8 being released and that is not the focus of their attentions, trust me. So what can you expect from 1404? You can expect a slick, very polished operating system that's stable. Um, I think they will address a lot of the privacy issues, um, which they've already gone some way to addressing. I think web integration will be even greater. I think the amount of software available will increase and grow <coughs> but I think once that 1404 which is this release here is finally polished and released to be honest with you the focus will be so heavily driven on tablets on mobile phones in any other mobile platform that can get into business perhaps they might even decide to concentrate a little bit more on the server side um, for business reasons I don't know but I think once 1404 is released I think div you know cutting bleeding edge developments on the desktop uh, will you know take a bit of a back seat I don't think they'll slow down but I think the, the canonical realize that to achieve platform supremacy the desktop alone is just not enough now of course that's going to piss off a ton of people on the desktop user community however for every one person it pisses off in the desktop community it's going to absolutely be music to the ears of thousands of other people in business, commerce, schools, universities, banking sector, you know Microsoft really for too long have had an absolute stranglehold on this and actually Microsoft really are pushing the self-destruct button in their approach in the way they're trying to go. Too little too late one would assume. So I think Canonical have a very bright future, I think they have an awful lot to be excited about and I think you guys and girls have an awful lot to look forward to and to enjoy in the next release of Ubuntu 14.04 called Trusty Taha. There you go everybody. You saw it on this channel first. Ubuntu 14.04 Trusty Taha. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up and I'll see you for another wicked Poppy Linux World video.